Hello, this is Chris Mulkey again. I just wanted to share um, some more of my testimony with you all. So this last time when I was in prison, I uh, woke up one morning and God asked me to fast my breakfast. And I had never fasted a whole meal before. So I did that and it was pretty hard. But I remember that morning I woke up and I was so frustrated because the last time I was at church, this preacher, which there was many of them, there was a different one every week almost, but he said that God doesn't speak to us in a still small voice. And uh, anyway, I stood up right away and, and stated my case of proof that he does, and he accused me kind of of being a false witness and... I had been ministering to some people in there that were in the uh, church that day, and it kind of, uh, well, it just, it was a bad, a bad thing anyway, and I, I was uh, pretty upset about that, um, and so I was praying for this preacher, because he said he'd been preaching for 30 years and God never spoke to him, and so I was asking the Lord to, uh, to speak to him so he could come back and tell everybody, you know, like, oh, yeah, God really does speak to us, you know. And so that was on my heart that morning. And also I, I just felt like I was the only one in there that was serving God. and So I was kind of complaining about some stuff that day. And uh, that night it was, I remember it was a church church night that night. So I was praying all day that the church would be filled up because it never had been filled up since I'd been there. And it held a, a hundred people. I had a hundred chairs in it anyway. And uh, that prison had a, a big um, worship team that were all prisoners and that they trained. And they were awesome singers. And so I ended up fasting, i pretty sure, all day that day. And when I went to church that night, the first thing I noticed was that it was full. For the first time, it was completely full. And there was actually extra guards in there which was also a blessing because now the guards have to hear the message and uh, <clears throat> because there were so many people there was extra people in there than normal and uh, there was over a hundred because they had to stand up there wasn't even enough room for them to all sit down so I went in I was so pumped man and, and right at the beginning of the service they were singing open the eyes of my heart Lord and I thought, man, that's a beautiful song, and, and the worship team was amazing. And God spoke to me in that moment of worship and, and said, See, Chris, I, I told you that you're not the only one in here serving me. And I was like, Oh, Lord, you, you're right, you're right, you know. And I, I'm almost weeping, you know, at the how beautiful the music is. And so uh, right at the beginning of the service, the preacher, which was a different one than, uh, than it was the week before, but he... he said, I, I got to obey God. And he walked to the back of the church and he prophesied over this guy and told him, you know, that God loves him and all these wonderful things. And I was just sitting there, you know, praying. And and uh, God spoke to me and he said, Chris, he's going to pick you next. And I said, no, God, no, I don't want him to pick me. You know, I, I'll be embarrassed. You know, all these people are here. You know, please don't let him pick me. Three times God told me that. Three times I... I begged him to not to let it happen <laughs> and so um i was a big weight came off of me as as the preacher walked by my row and and but he made it about three more rows and he stopped and he turns around and he points right at me and motioned me with his finger to come here and i did and i'm glad i did because it was amazing man he told me everything that that I needed to hear at that moment and that God was listening and that I wasn't the only one and all these wonderful things and just was, man, what a blessing. And uh, stuff like that just never really happened to me, you know, in that to that degree um, up until that church service in prison. And I went back and sat down and now I'm just weeping, you know. And so at the beginning of the service, when he starts preaching, guess what he preaches on? the still small voice <laughs> so i was just i was uh floored at just how amazing he was and so 
man, that was it for me. I just couldn't take it anymore. I just started praying that everybody, because my, my faith was built up so high at that moment. I just, I just started praying, Lord, I want everybody that um, that's in here to to go up front when they call altar call. You know, that's over a hundred people. You know, so I'm praying. You know, really hard, and all through the service. Well, in the midst of that, all of a sudden. And I wasn't thinking about anything besides just everybody, you know, getting saved. <laughs> Was that um, all of a sudden I started this? These words started coming out of my mouth, and and I knew what it was. It was uh, the gift of of tongues, and man, if but it felt like it felt so good. I mean, it was just like. A feeling like I had never felt before, but it, but but I knew what it was, and and I had wanted that gift for years, you know, before this, and um, when I was serving God years before, and and uh, so I I just was like, wow, this is amazing, and I just let it it just kind of come out and through the whole service, and uh, I you know I don't know what I was saying, and nobody I don't think could hear me, even if they could, I don't think it would have bothered me. <laughs> too much because I was just feeling so uh, full of joy and loved by God that day. Man, I felt loved by God. And uh, so at the, at the end of the service, they have this altar call. And I had my eyes closed. You know, I was just, man, praying so hard. And uh, I could feel the people get up, like, you know, at least half of them. And I had my eyes closed, but I I kept praying because I heard people behind me talking and moving around. And so I knew they weren't all up front. But my prayer was for everybody to go up front. So I wasn't going to give up on that, man. I was just praying so hard because my faith was like, my faith level was so high. Like I said, because of all the things that had happened in that service and in that day. So um, I just kept praying that. And uh, eventually the... God spoke to me and he said, Chris, I want you to come up front, lay your hands on these people that are up here and pray for them. Those are his words to me. And so I said, nope. I mean, I argued with the Lord, <laughs> just like I argued with him earlier, you know, but this time I was just like, no, nope. I want everybody that's sitting down to come up front. And uh, the Lord spoke to me again. Chris, I want you to come up here and lay your hands on these people that are up here and, and pray for them. And uh, he said that three times. All three times, I was like, nope, not going to do it. Not until you get all these people that are sitting down to come up front. So after the third time of me arguing with God, the preacher said these words. I want everyone that's sitting down to stand up and come up here and lay out your hands on these people that are up here and pray for him. And when he said that, every single person in the room, except one guy, he was on the front row. He was an old man. I think he had a cane. Maybe he couldn't stand up. I don't know, but that was good enough, man. I put my hand on him and this other guy. And man, I prayed probably like I had never prayed before. <laughs> and if they weren't saved by gosh, they probably were by the end of that service. Anyway, I just wanted to bless you guys with that. Uh, God is amazing. He is real. And I am never, ever going back to my old ways. And I am done. That's been 11 years ago. And I have fell a few times. Um, but I've gotten right back up. And God has made me stronger through all my, you know, my mistakes. So, and that's what he loves to do. We're not perfect. But he loves us, you know. I'm just, I just, uh. I just pray this blesses all of you all and just helps you understand the love of God. Amen. And and what prayer and fasting does. I believe with all my heart if I hadn't fasted that day, a lot of that stuff wouldn't have happened, you know. And I wouldn't have had the faith for it too. But I did that day. And so anyway, God's good. Bless you all.